मैनुअल थेरेपी मोबिलाइजेशन मैनुअल थेरेपी मीन्स यूजिंग हैंड्स टू गिव थेरापटिक इफेक्ट्स टू द बॉडी एंड इंक्लूड्स सॉफ्ट टिश्यू मैनिपुलेशन मसाज मैनुअल ट्रैक्शन जॉइंट मैनिपुलेशन शॉर्ट और लॉन्ग लिवर डायनेमिक थ्रस्ट एंड जॉइंट मोबिलाइजेशन नाउ वेन इट कम्स टू मैनुअल थेरेपी टू टर्म्स आर रियली पॉपुलर मोबिलाइजेशन एंड मैनिपुलेशन Mobilization is the one in which the therapist slowly moves the joint within its normal range of movement. Manipulation involves using short, sharp movements to push a joint beyond its normal range of motion. This is known as chiropractic adjustment. To clearly understand the concept, here we have the videos of mobilization and manipulation. Mobilization is the process of moving and in this we have two types of movements physiological movements and accessory movements Physiological movements are visible movements that the person carries out actively and occurs in the bone shaft example flexion extension abduction adduction and rotation Accessory movements are movements which are not visible as they occur inside the joint and they cannot be independently performed by the person. Examples are roll, spin, slide, traction. This page summarizes the accessory movements. Since accessory movements are the movements produced by the joint surfaces, one rule comes out to be very significant. the concave convex rule when the fixed end is concave and the moving end is convex then the convex head moves opposite to the shaft when the fixed end is convex and the moving end is concave then the concave head moves in the same direction as the shaft of the moving end There have been many discoveries of new techniques in mobilization so we have different schools of thought in it the most popular ones are metland milligan calton bone seriax mckenzie and many more but we would be covering these names in this video metlen technique applies a passive oscillatory technique It is the most commonly used technique so I will be making a more elaborate video on it in the future. While Metland uses passive oscillations, Calton Bond uses passive sustained stretch technique to enhance joint mobility without articular surface suppression. Mulligan combines passive accessory movement with active physiological movements it makes use of mobilizations with movement in the extremities and sustained natural apophyseal glides in the spine mckenzie believed pain originates from spine when he accidentally found making a patient lie prone and spine extended relieves pain so he theorized centralization and peripheralization centralization means the pain moves back to the origin and peripheralization means the pain radiates away from the origin seriax approached the study of soft tissue injuries he found that all pain arises from lesion all treatment must reach the affected site and all treatment must exert a beneficial effect on the affected site in continuation to this he found that movement occurs because of two components or two structures in the body contractile structures which includes muscle and its attachment and non contractile structures like bones so when the pain arises in the contractile structures it may be because of active contraction as well as passive stretching in opposite directions 
in non contractile structures as they possess no inherent capacity to contract and relax extreme range of active movements will stretch these structures and cause pain another significant finding was each joint has its own distinctive capsular pattern associated with the injury that is how cdx approached the study of mobilization by keeping soft tissues as the center of the theory this video is brought to you by spicy life and peter parker 111 also if you liked the video like subscribe and share